Ah, greetings, everyone. I was just having my morning coffee and uh, got some exciting news on my news feed for Godzilla fans. So let's talk about it today on the Multimedia Chronicles Quickie. time to put down my coffee all right so here's the news you know how there's a handful of godzilla movies that we've never actually got the original uncut versions over here such as there's king kong versus godzilla we've only ever had the american version here we've never had the uncut japanese version well another one that falls into that category is godzilla 1985 or its original going by its original title the return of godzilla yeah, it's only ever been available here on VHS, and specifically only the Americanized version, which cuts out about 20 minutes worth of footage, inserts footage of Raymond Burr, and a little bit of humor, and tries to make it more of a sequel to the American version of the 1954 original, rather than just a, you know, the, the, the original intended. It's also not as dark, apparently, as the original Japanese version. So, I've been really curious for years to know what the difference is. I mean, I've seen Godzilla 1985 a number of times. It's awesome. Um, but, I mean, I, like I'm sure many of you, have been wanting to see the original uncut version. Now, yes, it's been out there as a bootleg, but I've kind of held off on those, because I'd rather see it in beautiful high definition on a Blu-ray. Well, Kraken Reese... Reesing? Kraken Reese's Peanut Butter Cups to the rescue. No. Kraken Releasing to the rescue. Kraken Releasing, who in 2014 gave us three of the Showa-era titles on beautiful uh, collector's editions. We got uh, Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, uh, Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, which is one of my all-time favorites, by the way. And which one is this? Godzilla on Monster Island. And there we go. So three of the Showa-era uh, Godzilla movies in lovely editions that included <clears throat> not only the Japanese originals but also the English dubbed Americanized cuts and uh, audio tracks as well. So for Godzilla, for the return of Godzilla, it looks like what they're doing is they're putting out the the uncut Japanese version, obviously uh, in glorious high definition with English subtitles. And it, the article I read says they're sh they're also including an English dubbed version now. I don't know if that means we're also getting the Godzilla 1985 cut. There wasn't any specific mention of that, but or if it's a whole new English dub. I don't know. Now, this is really early. There's no Amazon pre-order links or anything like that. The news just broke today. Um, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Godzilla 1985 coming to Blu-ray. Oh, September, by the way. Mid-September, September 13th is when it's coming out. I'll just double check real quick here. Yes, September 13th, 2016. Uh, it will be hitting our shelves. Awesome. Can't wait. So, uh, so that will actually complete the Heisei collection. For the longest time, it has been minus one. Well, that will give us every single Heisei movie, uh, Heisei era movie, on Blu-ray. You'd have to go across a couple of different publishers well, I guess three, three different publishers, because there's, what is it, Echo Bridge released Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Biollante, Sony released all the others, and now Kraken Releasing is releasing the first part of that saga, The Return of Godzilla. Awesome. Can't wait. So excited. Now, if only somebody would give us, you know, nice Blu-rays of Son of Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. The only two that are currently not in print and not available currently. Oh, you can pay collector's prices for them, but who wants to do that? Yeah, I'd rather not dump $120 on Son of Godzilla, thanks. I'll, I'll just take a nice affordable re-release. So please give us a re-release. Come on, those have been unavailable for far too long now. Alrighty. Anyway, just wanted to share the news. Hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, especially Get Your Gorgeous On. Yes, Michelle O'Toole and Simon Hedger are back. Awesome. Welcome back to the full guys. And of course, Kyle Pellegrini, my uh, two highest level sponsors. Uh, thank you very much for the support. All right. That is it from me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching and sayonara.